Cumberland family. Happy New Year. We are now in the year 2021 and I can't hardly believe it. Um, I hope that this coming year is filled with uh, wonderful things for you and for your family and for our church. For my devotional today, I wanted to talk with you about gifts. Uh, we've just gotten done with the Christmas season and throughout the Christmas season, you may have sent some packages to people or you might have been the recipient of packages. Uh, I want to be sure to say a big thank you to everyone that works for the Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, Amazon, all these, all these places that I know have had such a stressful holiday season and have worked so, so hard so that everyone can have what they, what they ordered or what they were, what they were purchasing. I know that must have been so stressful. And I'm sure the stress is probably not over from that. But during the holiday season, it can be a little bit hard to remember um, a very special package that has come to each of us from God. And that special package includes our own unique personal strengths that God gives to each of us. Sometimes you can forget that that is a special gift uh, that was packaged up just for each of us individually by God. I was reading a devotional recently that talked a little bit about writing your New Year's resolutions and what you can do to make sure that they are successful, that you might be able to actually achieve your New Year's resolutions. Um, if you're someone that writes New Year's resolutions, this might be helpful to you. Uh, the devotional that I read said that Keep in mind your God-given strengths, uh, things that you're good at when you're writing your New Year's resolutions, and it might be something that helps you to actually achieve them and make all of your resolutions come true in 2021. In 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12 through 18, we read that the body is one unit, but it is made up of many different parts. And each body part is specially equipped for one function. They add value to the body because of the function that they serve. In that same way, God has specially equipped each of us with strengths. Your strengths are unique to you, but they add value to this world. They add value to your family. They add value to your workplace. They add value to our church and they add, add value to our community. When your strengths are combined with other people's strengths, you complete the whole. No one has the same grouping of strengths that you possess. Your strength set is a one of a kind gift from God. So what will you do with this one of a kind gift that God has given you, your personal strengths? Well, you do have a few choices. You can return it. Stores are jammed the day after Christmas and days following that with people who are returning gifts, uh, getting cash back for gifts, or maybe looking for something better. You have the option of returning God's gift of strengths by saying, I don't want this. I want something different. You can ignore them. Some Christmas presents are kind of dead-end gifts. You can think like neckties and fruitcake. There are things that don't really have value to the recipient and they most likely won't be used. So you can choose to ignore God's gifts to you or you can use them. Remember a time when you'd given someone a gift and you know they really, really loved it? When a gift is embraced and loved and used, it might be hard to tell who gets more out of that exchange, the giver or the receiver. If we receive with delight the gifts that God gives us and we appreciate those gifts, just like we've given someone a gift and seen how much they appreciate it, imagine how God feels when he gives us the gift of our personal strengths and watches us use them. So God has given you gifts uh, of strengths that are just for you. He has given them only to you. It could be tempting for you to want to exchange your strengths and your gifts with some that you admire more, or you might wish to ignore your strengths and just not even use them. But one of the very best ways that you can honor our Lord in the new year is to receive the gift of your strengths that he gives you and use them.